They say the definition of chutzpah is the kid who murders his parents and then asks the court for mercy because he's an orphan. Well, I guess a second definition would be Kathleen Wynne, the Liberal Premier of Ontario, who has surprised, ambushed, and forced on Ontario parents a new and extreme sex ed curriculum for children of tender years. We've told you about it before, starting right at grade one. Six-year-olds will be told technical terms for body parts like vulva and vagina. Can you imagine a six-year-old kid talking that way? It moves to talking about sexual consent when kids are not even lawfully allowed to have sex. It goes into the, what, six or seven genders by the time kids are 12, 13. It is crazy time. And the thing is, it's forced on parents. There was no meaningful consultation. There were no amendments allowed. It was just from Mount Olympus, Kathleen Wynne. Even more strange is that there is no provision for diversity. It's one size fits all. You either accept Kathleen Wynne's decision to sexualize very young children, or I don't know, you take your kids out of school. There's no middle way. There's no compromise allowed. It is the opposite of diversity that Kathleen Wynne says she cares so much about. And here's the chutzpah part. Now Kathleen Wynne is saying her sex ed program will become a divisive wedge issue in the federal election. That's a bit much from someone who herself has refused to compromise. See, it is a divisive question. Either you believe in sexualizing six-year-olds or you don't. On this one, Kathleen Wynne is offside with most, on, most Ontarians. She's tried a few ways of dealing with the criticisms, none of which involve compromise. She won't consult, she won't entertain amendments, and when people criticized her at Queen's Park in various protests, her reflex was to call them names. She first said they were homophobic, even though that really has nothing to do with whether or not you want to sexualize minor children. Then she said that they were all Tory plants. Well, if you look at this footage from our various reports on the protesters, they don't look like traditional conservative voters to me. Here, take a look. Um, because we are here as a parents, we are not agree about the sex education that they put on our children. We must have an education like in our school, not, not like a sex propaganda. There, we have five kids and it's totally and think about that they'll be teaching oral sex, anal sex to little kids that just want to be there to study. That's why I'm saying no sex for kids. I, I have taken a day off just for this thing and I'm going to take all the days off whenever we're going to come here. And it's not just those at Queen's Park. When liberal MPPs allow this issue to get in their town hall meetings, they are swamped by parents of diverse backgrounds, nonpartisan parents who have never been political before, telling her that she's the extreme one, she's the divisive one. It's a little bit much for her now to complain that the issue is divisive. She made it that way. But you know what? Calling for a division is at the heart of our politics. Many questions in life are yes or no, on or off, black or white. There aren't some, some things you just can't split the difference. Do you or don't you teach children that they're allowed to have sexual consent when they're 12 years old? There's not a lot of halfway there. So yes, Kathleen Wynne, it is a divisive wedge issue. You're just on the wrong side of the wedge. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.